Today, I'll be showing you how to install the latest Windows 11 24H2 on VMware Workstation. First, head over into the link in description below to download the ISO file direct from Microsoft website. Now, let's create a new virtual machine. Open VMware Workstation and click Create a new virtual machine. Choose the typical configuration for an easier setup. After that, select the Windows 11 24H2 ISO file you downloaded earlier. VMware will automatically detect the operating system. So, you don't have to worry about selecting it manually. Click on Next. Now here you can rename your operating system and even choose a location that you would like to use for this. Now click on Next. Sometime it will ask you the password for VirtualBox security when you want to share it to another computer. So just type in and click Next. Here choose the amount of the hard disk that you would like to use for this process and then click on Next. In the next step, you'll want to allocate enough RAM and CPU power to your virtual machine. Click on Customize Hardware option. Under Memory, I recommend giving it at least 4 or 6 GB of RAM. And two processor cores for smoother performance. Now click on Display. Uncheck this Accelerate 3D Graphics option. Here click on Close. Once the virtual machine setup is complete, click Finish and power it on. The Windows 11 installation process will begin. Just follow the on-screen instructions and in about 10 to 15 minutes, you'll have Windows 11 24H2 running on VMware. After the installation is complete, you'll need to set up a user account and adjust some basic settings. When you reach on this page, press Shift plus F10 to open CMD. Here type in this and press Enter. The system will reboot. Continue with the setup as usually. And that's it. You're now running Windows 11 24H2 on VMware Workstation. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to install Windows 11 24H2 on VMware Workstation. If this video helped you, make sure to give it a thumbs up Subscribe to my channel for more tech tutorials and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video.